hey chess masters coach sipo here and i consistently get this question from my youtube followers and my chess students in general i do know how to solve chess tactical puzzles but my biggest problem is that i cannot create or orchestrate those positions during my real games so that i can be able to showcase my tactical skills and blow my opponents off the board now how do i create those positions so that i will be able to punish my opponents with these tactics how do i create those positions okay before i share the solution with you first let's get rid of this um misunderstanding of chess that a lot of chess players have a lot of chess players would learn about a few tactical motives tactical motives are chess weapons like a fork like a pin discovered checks those things or they would learn about few mating patterns like um back rank checkmate they would learn about scholars mate the form of checkmate or they would learn about the fool's mate or the small that mate or they would learn about few of these mating patterns and then after that they would challenge someone maybe their siblings or maybe their friend as soon as they learned about that mating pattern they would challenge those people so that they will be able to um to apply what they just learned so let's um focus on the scholars mate for example they would play e4 the opponent plays e5 bishop c4 let's say the opponent plays knight c6 remember they just learned about the scholars mate now they would play queen f3 after that they would cross their fingers under the table and hope that their opponents don't see that a four moves checkmate is coming that's not how we play chess of course the opponent can quickly can simply stop this with knight f6 okay another example maybe they just learned about the fork okay i have to admit that even myself i'm a victim of this one after a few months of playing chess um you know all beginners like developing their queens too early so my opponent would play e4 i would play e5 they would play knight c3 and you know we liked playing our queens too early and then they would play knight d5 or b5 uh planning to fork my king and the rook and of course as a beginner i wouldn't see this so i would simply save my queen and i would be a victim of this fork so uh maybe many games later it doesn't matter who i play with i would try to go for this fork all the time hoping my opponent won't see it guys that's not how we play chess we call that hopeful chess hoping that my opponent doesn't see it that's not a good way of playing chess now what is the solution the solution is that you need to understand the basis of tactics where tactics are coming from if you've been following this channel for some time i've already mentioned you know now that in order for tactics to favor you you need to have activity develop your pieces tactics always favors the side that is ahead in activity so don't memorize tactics like a fork or pin or small that mate or back rank mate and say on my next game i will try to do it don't force tactics what you need to do you just need to make sure that all your pieces are active um just develop your pieces if your pieces are active and you are ahead in activity than your opponent okay i did not move pawns intentionally but my point is that try to activate your pieces asap if this opening was possible this would be the best opening ever but unfortunately bishops cannot jump pawns so try by all means to move pawns that are opening for the bishops only other pawn moves are just a waste of time 
try to develop your PCs with speed. You cannot afford to be moving pawns that are not doing anything. Okay? So once your, your PCs are active, then tactics will favor you. It will be your time now to apply the same, the same mindset that you use when you are solving tactics. And then tactics will be there. Okay? But it doesn't even help to look for tactics if your PCs are not active. Just, uh, it is a sign that tactics are there if your PCs are more active than your opponents. Let's say you have four PCs out, your opponent has no piece out, then this should be a big sign that tactics will favor you. You can, you can begin looking for tactics once you know you have more pieces out than your opponent. Okay, let me share, before I give you examples, let me share like um, a short story with you. Uh, every time I meet a new chess student, because as you may know by now, I have, I'm coaching schools, okay? But then sometimes after schools, I would meet the parents of these of my students and then they would ask if am i providing private sessions because or extra sessions for their children and then there are options i coach online via zoom i would coach them one-on-one -on -one via zoom or i would coach them in one of my academies i have groups um via zoom or i would go to their to their home and coach them one-on-one -on -one. So every time I meet these students for the first time, I would play a game. I like playing a, 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 a game with them, a few games with them, so that I will be able to ascertain their strengths and weaknesses. So I would play with white at first, for example, and then I would win the game. And then some of them would make this comment, I think the white pieces are strong. So I want to play with white pieces and then I would play with black and I would win the game again. Now they would start to look at the, at the chess pieces and say these chess pieces are aren't loyal. They were not working as hard when I was playing with them. <laughs> okay. And that would make me laugh because it shows their misunderstanding of chess. Guys, if you want chess pieces to work for you or to help you, you need to help them first. How do you help your chess pieces? You help your chess pieces by activating them. Once your chess pieces are developed, they are active, then they will also help you. You helped them, they will also help you. Don't forget your rooks. You need to put your rooks on open files. Once you've helped all your chess pieces, trust me, they will also help you. There will be tactics and they will help you um, destroy your opponent. Okay? Now, let me give you practical examples. Let's say you have a knight here, queen here, bishop here. In this position, it doesn't matter what black does. It is black's turn in this position. It doesn't matter what black does. White will checkmate black on the next move. There is no way of blocking this checkmate. If you block the queen, let's say you play a pawn here or a knight here, there will be a checkmate from the bishop. Yes, you've blocked the queen, but a bishop will checkmate you. Even if you block the bishop, the queen will come and checkmate you. So there is no way of blocking this checkmate. So this should already let you know that the side that is ahead in activity, once pieces are active, are developed, that means tactics will favor you. Tactics favor white in this position. Whatever black does, white will win on the next move. Even if um, black had more pieces, let's say these pieces were not here. It's not about pieces, but it is about who is more active in a particular position. So from now on, when you play, you won't waste time with pawn moves. 
you're going to develop your chess pieces, knowing that at some point, um, tactics will favor you. You increase your chances of, um, of like, um, having opportunities for tactics, okay? Just develop your pieces and it will pay off. Okay, now, of course, this cannot happen in a real game. How do you even develop the bishop without moving the pawn? But I hope you get my point. The side that is ahead in activity will be favored by tactics. Okay? Now, that is why the players whom you consider to be very tactical, I know maybe you have a friend or a sibling who attacks a lot. Pay attention when you play with them sometimes or when they are playing. You will notice that they can even give up free pawns for free just so that they distract you and so that you don't develop your pieces while capturing those pieces they would be developing their pieces we call those gambits they will give you it's like they are bribing you with few pawns so that you don't develop your pieces they develop their pieces and they know that when they are ahead in activity tactics will favor them and that's how they will win the games so from now on, pay attention to those players whom you consider to be tactical geniuses. They are secret. They never fall behind in development. Okay? Now, for example, this position after e4, e5, knight f3, and I also lost as black uh, when I was still new at chess. I would defend my e5 pawn with a pawn, you know, as beginners, we like moving a lot of pawns, not developing pieces. Then uh, my opponent would play knight c3, and I would prevent their bishop from coming here with this pawn move. And they would play here. Now, pay attention, white has three pieces out, black has no piece out. Okay, now black would play this move. The mere fact that you are ahead in activity should be a sign, should be um, a hint in itself that there should be a tactic. Once you are ahead in activity, tactics will favor you. For example, in this position, after playing my bishop g4 here, the bishop is undefended. Then my opponents would play here. No, no, my opponents would play here. And then I would take the queen, thinking that they made a blunder. And then after this, it is already a checkmate. Now, I would think that it was just an unfortunate moment or my opponent was just lucky, whatever, you know, all those excuses. But now that I understand chess better, I know that it was not just because of one mistake. My opponent understood chess better. They understood that if they activate their pieces, tactics will favor them. In this game, tactics favored white because white was ahead in activity. So in conclusion, after learning about all these tactics, watching my videos where I'm talking about tactics, um don't hope that the positions i'm sharing will also happen in your games just develop your pieces make sure your pieces are active then maybe even a new tactics tactic you've never seen before will represent itself don't cram or memorize one particular tactical motive and say i will use it on my next game no be ahead in activity and many different tactics will represent themselves thank you for watching this week's video this channel is committed to uploading at least one video per week please help our channel grow by smashing that subscribe button click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we upload a video until next video peace